Welcome back, fellow producers, to another Top Sounds video over here at TopSoundsAudio.com. I'm going to be teaching you how to use Twitter to your fullest advantage and basically um, get sales and drive sales targeted from Twitter. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to your Twitter, your homepage on Twitter, whatever. You go in the search bar, type in send me beats. Click enter. On the filters, do anyone, anywhere. You can do it. Let's do the advanced search, actually. Pull this up. Um, let's do the exact phrase, send me beats. Um, then we're going to also, it's going to include any of these words, so .com, so it'll have an email in there for you. Any language from any account, um, and we'll go from the date. We'll start at a. Uh, let's start at the beginning of the year, so it's relatively newer. Okay, so oh, I got to do it this way then. Twenty nineteen dash o one dash o one, and click on search. And here you'll have all these emails for you to go through now. Now, starting at the top, you're going to go through and you're going to copy all of these emails. So basically, um, you can copy them onto like text edit or whatever you want to use to drop it in there. Um, I say, honestly, just go to open up MailChimp or whatever client that you use send out emails go in here go to um, manage audience and then go to import contacts and copy and paste alright so you're gonna sit here and just basically type in um, or copy and paste every email that's on here quicker way of doing this I'd say is just going like this It's a way quicker way of doing it. Just make your windows like this, side by side, so you're able to just copy, boom. Sometimes it'll. You don't want to click on it and stuff, but. So you're going to want to go through here and copy all of these subscribers' emails. I'm only going to do about 10 of them. Um, I would ignore it. See that at that they're putting at the beginning? Like, as you notice, a lot of people are putting that at. And honestly, it's just to, like, um, this guy's name is Lyndon Lindo. Okay. When they have that at the beginning of it, that's basically to, like, take and uh, filter away from spam bots so they don't just automatically pick up their email see how we're manually doing this spam bots wouldn't be able to since that ads there thinks it's a hashtag or uh, it's an at name so basically you'll go through and you'll go and collect every single email that comes up on this from the beginning beginning of the year once you have that click I understand my billing plan will automatically be upgraded go to uh, continue to match You're going to do them as subscribed. Create a tag. We'll do Twitter finds. Continue to review. And it's going to assume that there's only one column. It's an email field, so that's all we did. You have nothing to worry about there. Um, tags applied, status of contact. Go to import. One email had syntax errors. What did I do there? Oh, because there's another ad in there that she put. Okay. Just copy it like that. 
All right, so we put all those into um, our email list. And once you have those, so I've basically built this whole list over time. But once we have those subscribers in there, then you're going to want to, if you've never done this before, um, go up here, go to campaigns, go to create campaign. Search for our available campaign type. We're just going to do an email campaign, so just a big uh, classic, you know, email. And then we're going to type in um, a campaign test. Okay. Once the name is there, then it'll open up the recipients, and you're going to choose your audience. We'll do the Twitter wrappers, all the subscribers in there, as opposed to the new or the active. Just go to all. Um, you can personalize the to field if you want to, so basically it'll take their name that's used in their email. It'll make it more personalized for them, so they might want to be more enticed to click it. Click save. Add your subject, or uh, choose what email you're sending it from. This is just a test email that's getting sent out, way out of right now. So then we go to subject, and we're going to type in basically... Um, uh, Fresh new beats, or you know something catchy. Said you needed beats. Make it keep it under thirty characters, because sometimes like some mobile devices, like Androids and stuff, um, the emails automatically get filtered through that if it's over if through like a spam bot or a spam filter or something. If it's over thirty characters for some reason, because it can't fully read it all. Um, preview text, which will be at the in the inbox after the subject line. Uh, five beats for you. Click save. Now we're going to design the email. Make this bigger. Um, so let's go through here, and we'll be we'll just use the cell products. All right, so right here, you're gonna to wanna to put your logo here. Uh, I don't think that we have our logo on here so far. We'll just do BeatStars logo for now. And then, if it doesn't come up, it doesn't come up. Oh, here we go, insert, okay whatever reason it's not loading but you'll, you'll put your logo there um, and then right here we're gonna type in five beats for your next project bold center it and let's make it a little smaller And then right here, you'll add another picture if you want to, or you can add like a, um, I'm pretty sure you could change this to be like a video or something if you wanted to. So I'll save and close out of there. Yeah, you could just drag and put a video there instead. If you wanted to just start it off with like a YouTube video or something, um, just go ahead and put the video URL right there. Now look. So YouTube video URL right there, and then the caption of it right there, just um, purchase your track today. Feature the star of your collection first. So I got your email from Twitter because... You tweeted out that you needed some new beats. We don't want that to be all like. Let's change this style. Just keeps getting bigger. Okay, there we go. Okay, shoot. 
know why the font's messing up. All right, I got your email from your Twitter because I saw that you needed to move. Um, then we'll type right here. Delete all this actually. Because I saw that you needed some new beats. I have been actively making new beats for the past. Well, let's see. I've been actively making new beats every day for the entire year. Or however long you've been making new beats pretty frequently, hopefully every day. Um, I've been actively making new beats every day for the entire year. I'm looking for new artists to work with and add to my production credit credits. I have a few free beats for you to Snap on. Let me know what you think. Change the the size of that. Bring it down to twelve. I've been actually making new beats every day for the entire year. I'm looking to work with new artists to, add, to work with and add to my production credits. I have a few free beats for you to snap on. Let me know what you think. And then you'll here, let's just make this like that. Just snap on. Let me know what you think. Cool. Um, so now we're going to. Um, this would be the link to your store. So you want to link them to your beat store before you show them the, the free stuff, because they'll be more enticed to click it that way. Click here or download beats. Okay, so they'll go there and they'll be like, all right, well, I'm going to download the beats. And what you're going to do is you're going to send them to your beat store, whatever your store link is. Um, save it. You can customize the color or whatever you want if you wanted to do that. And then you'll go down here. And you can click on, um, actually, let's delete this. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, we're going to delete this. All right, and then we're going to add um, another one right here. Five free beats. And honestly, I would move this in between the five free beats and download beats. So that way it's kind of like a little break in the email and they won't be able to see like the five free beats are down here as opposed to like going straight to your website, checking out stuff that they could potentially buy first. You know what I mean? So um, the five free beats, from there you're going to want to put, a, put all the five beats in a zip folder and then um, send that off or uh, yeah, put it, upload it to here. And then once it's uploaded, go have it here, ready to go. Um, this is an example here for, hold on one second. I'm just going to type in, um, Mac Miller type beat. That kid Goron. What's up, man? Alright, so we'll just copy the link to that video. And then we will put it like that. So instead of saying purchase your track today, we'll just do um, free Mac Miller type it. And then you'll have your logo here. For some reason that's not loading up, but um, mobile styles. We won't focus on that too much because uh, Mailchimp has a pretty good way of switching the email over to mobile, and how it looks on the phone is pretty similar to how it looks when you're editing it. So don't worry too much about that. 
Um, and go ahead and clean up anything else that you wanted to like do stuff like that. We'll make this pretty small. We'll change the color of this to white and then um, change all this stuff to black. It's a little cleaner and then we'll bring this up a little bit. Boom. And then there you have it so far. So um, if there's anything else you wanted to add to this email to make it a little more enticing for the producer or the for the for the beat buyer to uh to purchase your stuff then you can include a sale you can include whatever you want to do if you just wanted to give them free beats do that but it's a great way to network um it's a really great tip that i myself have followed for the past religiously religiously have followed this for the past like fucking like seven nine years um you know since i first got on twitter so take full advantage of this. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section. If it's worked for you, leave a, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And we'll keep it pushing. Thanks for watching, guys.